we done? Fine, yes. Man, that is a long trip. I still don't understand why they won't let me get a car. There's a chance today that this might be the coldest first mow that I've ever done, but I just can't wait anymore. It's time to get going. It's time to get back to work. Right now, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So for all you car nerds out there, I guess this would truly be called a cold start. So I've managed already to smell like nothing but exhaust fumes, so I guess that's a win so far. But so far I think this year it looks the best that it's ever looked at this point in the season. So the other order of business today is that I did decide to wear my old Vikings hat. The old, old, just because, you know, for the first mow here, I gotta go back to my roots. I need to get a look at how tall this is. Inch and a quarter or so, some spots that are a little taller than that, some that are a little lower than that. So today we're gonna even everything out. Only two swipes in now, I've forgotten just how well this sissy grass stripes. Now this is mixed with Kentucky bluegrass over here for those of you who are new or don't know kind of what's going on in my yard, but it's only gonna get better. We're gonna go lower yet for sure. Three quarters of an inch is right where I'm at right now and I'd like to be closer to a half. So I got a special tool today as well that I'm gonna show you that I got for a Christmas gift this year. It's gonna show us some interesting things about the height of cut, quality of cut as well. So stay tuned for that. So that's round number one, and as I mentioned, I would like to go lower than that yet. It's not quite as low as I was keeping it at the end of last season, and I'd like to be closer to the half inch mark if I can this year, somewhere maybe between there. Just depends on how it looks at that height. But for the first round, that is looking fantastic. I gotta do that section out by the street, but I have one problem. Because I've been so crazy busy getting ready for the season, I forgot that I did not blow off all this debris and there are definitely some rocks in there. So I'm gonna have to inspect this thing before I put that reel over it, unless I wanna be in some big time trouble here. Help if I turn it on. Well, it's pretty much nearly impossible to get all of those out of there. So I'm gonna cross my fingers here and just hope that I don't hit anything, but wish me luck. Just as I said that, not kidding here, there's two pennies that I found on the ground. Now one, that's a rare sight anymore. Two, they're both tails down. I don't know if that's a good sign. That was a success, I got that done. Those pennies obviously didn't hurt my luck today, which is good, but. So now we go for some extra stripes. This is definitely not enough. Not nearly as impressive enough for a first mow, so let's do some more. That 
Every year I just think to myself, this can't get any more fun than it's been in the past. And every single season it feels like this first mow reminds me just how much I love what I do here. And I just thank you guys so much for coming back this season to watch again. And for those of you who are new as well, thank you so much for kind of checking out what we're up to here on the channel. And I know it might seem crazy that I'm getting so excited about mowing a lawn, it doesn't make any sense. But when you look back at that and you realize all the hard work that you put into it, there's just something special about that. So I thank every single one of you who understands that and knows that I'm not completely crazy. I'm definitely slightly crazy, but this is worth it to me. That should be much closer now to a half inch. I think it should be around 0.6 or so. And I'm going to show you this tool here in a second that's going to show me that. I cut off quite a bit of grass today, definitely a little more than I probably would have wanted to in one time, but I wanted to mow this about three or four days ago. And then I was trying to do everything at once so I can make this video. So sometimes you break some rules and there you go. But it's the first mow of the season. The warm weather is just going to be starting now. So I didn't do any crazy amount of scalping or anything but I did cut off a little more than I probably wanted to all at one time so I actually went inside to get something for my camera and my wife said aren't you cold out there it's like 40 degrees I was like nope I'm actually warm so that gives you an idea of just how cold-blooded I am so imagine me in with a heat index of about 100 degrees and just how much I'm complaining when I'm loving it right now and it's about 45 Okay, so this ryegrass here is not nearly as far along in terms of greening up as this other side was, but it's just kind of because it doesn't get quite as much sun during the day right now as far as the daylight hours. It will be getting there soon. I'm hoping though that it kind of looks like last year, and right now it's a little deceiving on how it's going to look after we get the mow done. So let's try it. So I told you it probably wouldn't be in quite prime condition and it's definitely not there yet, but man, I still cannot complain about how good this looks once you get a mow on it to get that brown stuff taken off of there. And we got some double wide stripes put down. Love, love, love the ryegrass. But I do want to show you this bluegrass back here because it is looking amazing for this time of year. Sometimes bluegrass is a little slower, but look at this over here. So I'm really impressed with this bluegrass. I've already mowed this with my manual reel mower like once or twice just to kind of see how it would do. But this was the first thing that greened up this season over on this side. So, so that is looking awesome. So I can't wait to see the rest of the front kind of get there in terms of greening. And we still have some fescue to mow. Look at the backyard. And I need to clean this up here too as well. Do the finishing touches real quick. So I got that blower on, I think it was on sale on Black Friday or somewhere around there. And it's just okay. It's not quite as powerful as my gas blower. And I guess you could just say in general, it doesn't blow me away. So this right here is the tool that I want to show you this year. And I got this for Christmas, of course, you know, I asked for it as a complete lawn nerd gift, but that's how it goes. And this is a grass prism. So essentially it's just a set of mirrors in here that allows you to take a three dimensional look at the grass and see the height of cut, see the quality of cut. It is absolutely amazing. I know it's kind of a simple thing when you really think about how it works, but it's absolutely awesome how this thing works. It gives you an idea of kind of where you're actually at when you're setting your height of cut. And also you can see that quality of cut and you, it's just really amazing to see the grass in that three-dimensional look there. I am super excited to use this thing more this year to get a sense of where I'm at, you know, get a sense of 
if for some reason I'm having a trouble with a reel or whatever the case is. Really awesome tool to have here, so I can't wait to use this more this season. So there is the tall fescue and right now it's still not quite as far along and this was planted somewhere right around Labor Day last year so I can't expect everything to be absolutely perfect right at this moment either. But I, of course I am disappointed in all these spots that are out here from snow mold and some of those trails and everything that I've been talking about previously. Really there's not a whole lot that can be done about that. The damage is done now. I just have to come up with a plan here to get this thing back into shape as quickly as I can. So remember too that none of this has had any sort of fertilizer yet. You know, if you got your program in order during the fall time, it's really when you should be preparing for the springtime by doing the proper things then. And then you're gonna get the results here in the spring that you're looking for. So no fertilizer yet. This thing's just sitting all natural here at this point of what it looked like coming out of the winter season. So I'm very happy with that too. And of course, I'm gonna start my spoon feeding program back on the front here pretty soon. Do some things here on the backyard soon probably too because I need to start pushing some of this growth a little bit more than it is. But that's probably gonna still be a little while before we we get to spring flush I don't want to go too crazy and have to be mowing this like twice a day although I would love to I don't really have that kind of time and so I hope you enjoyed this one today I had such a blast making this video so thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time no.